Are you guys ready for a little treat? At least I think it's a treat. Uh, I have been um, teasing you guys with how the new, how the bike is looking now after the full paint job and the wheel swab and stuff like that. And it is right there. Are you guys ready? So first of all, I actually want to say thanks to all the people that have uh, helped me in the process. I'm sorry, I'm in uh, downtown Copenhagen, so there can be a lot of noise. But first of all, I want to say thanks to all the people that have helped me building the uh, the custom FTR 1200. And uh, the first person I want to thank is uh, Brian Jensen. But he has uh, provided me with a lot of parts. We have a very good friendship and um, I really appreciate all the things he does for me as well as I do for him. So uh, he has uh, provided me with the seed cow. He also helped me actually with the uh, Jekyll and Hyde collaboration. That was also through him. So a huge thanks to him for helping me out with a lot of parts. Next up is of course my best friend Glenn who uh, painted, in my opinion, this masterpiece. It is a three layer Lamborghini orange that we have used. To, oh, sorry, wrong finger. It, uh, we have used to paint this uh, this FTR, and uh, we have put a lot of gold flakes in it. So when the sun is shining bright on it, it looks so freaking cool. Next up is of course a huge uh, thanks to Sebastian at uh, SD Motor Graphic, who have uh, helped me a lot, a lot with uh, designing the uh, the decals uh, for this FTR. Uh, we integrated my uh, Motor Marvelous logo inside of the engine logo so a huge thanks to him as well and then last but not least uh, my good friend Christopher from FA Motorsport who is helping me a lot with a lot of things but especially on this bike uh, he also provided me with, uh, with the tires as well Christopher is also helping me and the channel a lot actually with uh, with different parts to review and stuff like that so a huge thanks to Christopher as well this was not a commercial rant or something like that but I really just want to show my appreciation to the people that is helping me because I'm not alone doing stuff like this and the last thing we actually missing on this FTR is painting the wheels and then we're going to get Glenn back in business but again we are waiting uh, till this winter a lot of you guys probably wondering why the uh, rim straps isn't on there anymore and uh, I didn't uh, I didn't put them on right so the yeah it was not good so it took me three hours to take them off and I was very angry because that sh is is stubborn as f but it's off and we are going to paint them this winter so of course stay tuned for that maybe a part four i was doing this is part three and that could be a part four but you guys couldn't wait for so long and i couldn't wait to show you guys how freaking amazing this fdr has become it really is exactly how i wanted it to be and uh, especially with the new 2022 rim Still an FTR rim with the 190 RS11 R Bristol tire. It feels incredible and I can't wait for next year to go on the track with it.
so that was it folks thank you for tuning in on this ftr 1200 reveal and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this design and even though i used orange which is maybe an harley davidson color i don't give a shit. i love the color so what do you think let me know in the comments so don't forget to like this video subscribe if you aren't already and if you're new here welcome it is so nice to see you so that was it for the FGR 1200 build. See you in the next one. Peace.